which firm it's a hey dude so shut this window it's going to lock to get some air in here um hey dude it is friday i don't know what the day is 20th i'm going to take a guess at the 20th or the 19th i don't know um you're right, somebody's just parked up outside there. Give me a second. I can't see anything in this freaking bathroom. No, I think I won't. Um, yeah, I hope you're right. Um, I've got a bit of a haul, an alright haul, actually. I'd say this is up there with the, you know, one of my better hauls. Um, went to a car boot yesterday. And then popped some charity shops, did all right in basically all of them. Um, yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day, I don't know what, I, I, like, I'm just saying it's in fancy that. I, I walked away like going, yeah, it was a good day, but then I was like, mm, I didn't get that much right. Look, that much cloudy. Well, did I spend too much on this? Did I spend too much on that? But just gone through the prices of stuff. There's some clothing duds, um, but there's some glass stuff that, stick around for it guys i'll probably give it away on the thumbnail um but yeah um i am wearing the same things i was wearing the other day this is this week's hoodie so smells fine um it's the hoodie i'm wearing this week while i'm around the house get over it so we are going to go through the clothing first i'm going to leave the best bits to last keep you hanging in there guys you know what i mean stay tuned Anyway, so first, um, these two first items, I was a bit like, I paid too much, but I think I'll get the money back on it. You know, I'll still get double figures profit. Um, this is like an unbranded um, real leather sheepskin. It, it says sheepskin now. When I've looked it up, the exact coat is, has sold on eBay for 50 quid. The exact same coat. So it's not like... You can, you can hear me. So it's proper like proper leather. Um but I don't know where it says real leather sheepskin. I don't know if it, the sheepskin is meant to be in there and it's been taken out, but the exact same jacket is sold for 50 quid. So I am gonna go for 50 quid. It has got a few kind of um you know marks on there which I'll show on the listing. But uh yeah, 50 quid for that one, it cost me 15. It's a nice jacket. So it, something, something before. I think I sold a sheepskin jacket that was unbranded um, sometime during the winter, and it made me think I was like, well, I can still pick up unbranded stuff, you know what I mean? Still sells all right. So yeah, fifty quid on that one. Um, this one, God, I went in the car. I ummed and awed about it. Came back. I went back. I went back to the car. I went back, and then I ended up going and getting. It. Um, but this was a Thomas Burberry women's jacket. Um, I sold Thomas Burberry before. 15 quid this was. Uh, about 45. I don't know if I need to give it a wash first. Um, it just looks a bit... I don't know if that's just generally... It just looks a bit patchy. Um, but yeah. 15 quid, 45. I've got another one. I don't particularly like washing stuff there. That sounds bad. If I, can, if, I can, if I can refrain from washing it, well. um, but yeah, 45 on that one. Uh, this one, I didn't realise it was in the men's rack, and now I've just found a pull, so that's going to make scissors in there. Um, this was a Bayern Munich home shirt. As you know, I, I like to pick up my football stuff, but I, I, I normally won't pick up kids' stuff. I'm um, in a hole, is it? I don't think it's been a hole. No. Um, but yeah, a Bayern Munich home shirt. It was in the men's. Um, but the size on there is 176, which is a kid's size. It's 16 to 17, but still, I think that's a bit small for a 16 to 17. Um, but yeah, 5 out 15 quid. Oh well. You know, you don't win them all. You don't win them all. Uh, this the these next two these are ones that my wife picked up but um yeah 
I don't hate this. The freaking material takes me cut out, so I never know what material it is. But it's just a kind of open cardigan. Uh, the brand is something I would pick up. Uh, Cecil Cornwall. Um, but again, don't think there's that much money. Four quid, it cost me 15. It's a short sleeve cardigan. Yeah, 15 on that one. Again, well, I've picked up this. I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't normally pick this up, but you know, she's trying. Bless her. Um, a Bowden long sleeve top, about fifteen quid. What was that? Three fifty. I think it's about fifteen. Yeah, fifteen quid on that one. L Lila cell, I think the material was. Uh, she picked up a couple of pairs of trousers. Um, these ones are all right, but I don't know why I picked up the other ones. Some Meyerhausen ones, um, they just stretch. They normally have um, like a name of like a city or something on the tag, but there's nothing on the tag. It normally says like New York, Chicago, Madrid, but there's nothing on the tag, there's no city on there. So I've just gone with Meyer Stretch, um, about 25 quid. They cost me 375. So yeah, 25 quid on them. Well, let's pick up Meyer's. For and these, I do this all the time. I think I'm used to picking up Joe. If I see the Joe Browns label, I'll pick it up. So I saw the Joe Browns label, um, picked them up, but again, there's not. I have, I have had um, Joe Browns trousers before, and there's not that much money in them. So yeah, 450, 15. So I wouldn't normally, in my head, I will sell stuff for. Less than fifteen pound profit. I'm sure if you watch my vlogs, <laughs> for long enough, I will. But my aim when I'm in a charity shop or um, a car boot is to make you know over a ten a profit. But sometimes it doesn't happen. All right, so that's all the clothing. Um, right, I'll go through these bits first. Um, just a wicker wine bottle cooler. About 15 quid on that, two quid that cost me. Oh, wicker stuff. Um, that was that, yeah, 15 quid. Uh, this one was a bit of a punt, had a bit too much on it, I think. Um, it's got a few, well, let me take that out. It's got a spoon with it, as you can see, it's like got a fish. But, yeah, with the spoon, I think it's kind of tuck. The pack that looks like a crack, but it's not just the price down. Um, it's took a few bits off, a few pack chippings, but it was just a fish kind of gravy bowl with the spoon. I thought it looked cool. Uh, six quid, not that much money in it. Um, it had a stamp on it underneath. It's sticking out. Um, RB made in Italy. So, yeah, not that much money, about 15 quid. It cost me six, so a bit of a in the dude. Uh, what's next? Uh, these, yeah, caterpillar boots. I'll always pick up caterpillar boots. They seem to. I've got two pairs actually that are listed now. They used to sell straight away, um, but the two pairs that I've got, you know, I'm, I am shooting for big money. I'm shooting for like 50, 60 quid on them. Um, they're steel toe cat ones. These are just um, work equipment ones, Techniflex. Uh, not that much money in them. Uh, five uh, 20 quid. But uh, if I see Caterpillar, I will pick them up straight away. So, yeah, 20 quid on them. Um, and then the rest of them is all Maruno glass. So I went to I went to a stall um, at the car boot. I'd, I'd been, like, I haven't been, I haven't been to a Thursday car boot for a bit. Um, and this geezer, the f it, it must have been one of the first Thursday car boots of the year. So you're talking about March. Um, and I went to the store in March, and he had these Maruno glass things on there. Yeah, I'll show you in a bit. But he had a couple of Maruno glass pieces, um, and he wanted, I think he wanted twenty pound each for them, and I was like, Nah, I'm yeah. I'm on his stuck out. Look, I'm trying to I'm trying to make a profit, and he was like, "Yeah, well, I'm not going to release them for any less than twenty quid." Went there yesterday. Saw as we're walking down like the aisles, 
saw him sitting on the table. As soon as I said, I went, oh, crap, he wants too much money for that. Um, so I just I went over to have a look. I'd spoken to him before. Went over to have a look, and he also had a clown, which I picked up. Um, but I was I was just like, oh, these are still here. And he was like, yeah, he went, I want £15 for the clown, and I want £12 each for the other two pieces. Um, but I'll take 30 for all three. And I was like, go on in. <laughs> so it's all took 30 for all three, so a tenner each. And then we went to a charity shop, and I found another piece of Moreno for a tenner as well. So I'll show you them. So this was from the charity shop. Um, I've had one of these before. I inspected this loads before because the last one I got had a bit of a chip. Um, but it's just a Maruno fish. Uh, this was a tenner. It's nice. I don't know if it needs a bit of a clean. Give it a bit of a wipe. But yeah, I'm so scared of dropping it. But a Maruno fish, that was a tenner. Um, I've actually, I've just realised I've got... After the, after the Maruno pieces, I've, I've got another thing as well. Um... But a Maruno fish, where is it? A tenner, about 35 quid on that one. There's a bigger version that you can get more money for, but yeah, um, 35 quid on that one. Don't drop me. This one, I've kind of made, made up a price on this one, a toucan, as you can see. It's nice, no chippings on here. Again, needs a bit of a clean, but not really. Oh, so that was a tenner. Um, 40 quid on that one. If I search Maroon Hourglass Toucan, there's one that sold 134 quid, which actually I haven't looked. No. Um, that sold for 34 quid. The person who's made it's actually signed it on there, but that went for like 135. The next one after that is 16 quid. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to sell this for 16. Um, so I kind of just. I went buy glass tokens. I searched glass tokens and they were going for where is it? I've got forty. So they're going for thirty oh now they were going for thirty. I've gone for forty. I'm shooting for forty. So I've kind of made up the price on that one because I just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mind for sixteen quid. I'll go for forty. I'll I'll bring the price down if I have to. But I thought that was really nice. So forty quid on that one. <clears throat> I don't know what the freaking cat's now coming here. The door's shut out of it. Um, and then this one, that one's really, I love that one. Um, a parrot. I like that one. Um, again, that's a tenner. And parrot, about 45. No. Look at that. No issues with it whatsoever, but that's really nice. That is, if I collect them, I like actually having them in the loft. I've said it before about the glass, but I do like having them. I'm kind of gutted on the cell, but um, yeah, what was it? 45 quid on that one. And then the last one is look the size of that. That's um, what was it? I measured it earlier, I think 16 inches. Um, a Maroon Al Clown again. This was a tenner. Um, I've had them before. I am a little bit where I don't think, but no, that one's got a ball in his hand. Normally, it kind of has an instrument there, a guitar or a, what they call, I can't think what they're called. Um, but this hasn't got one, as you can tell. Uh, but it looks all there's no there's no chippings that I can see really like. Maybe you could say the hair there, but I don't think, I'll show it, but I don't think it's chipping. I don't think that's shit. Yeah, the so I haven't had one that size before. I've sold them before. About 60 quid, I'm going to shoot for on that one. And that cost me a tenner. But yeah, look at that. And the bollocks these have, I love them. But yeah, 60 quid on that one. So those are my, and then my last one, which I completely forgot about, um, was this mirror, that's my camera attached to the window as you can see, but this um, bamboo mirror, it's giving, giving you like, it's weird ain't it, is that showing me on there, yeah, good. if you keep watching that and you zoom in it just keeps going, 
Um, but yeah, this bamboo wooden mirror, four ninety nine, uh, fifty quid. I'm gonna shoot for this one. Um, sixty five was the highest one, and then I've kind of gone with a consistent one. But yeah, about fifty quid. So I'm gonna shoot for fifty quid on this mirror. So yeah, that's um everything that I picked up yesterday. Um, I think I'm gonna get my little money collect back up. I was gonna go sourcing tomorrow, but. I don't, know, I don't know about you, like, it's been a bit dead this week. I am listing consistently, you know, 10 brand new listings every day, but it, it's been a bit dead. It has been a bit dead this week. It's been a bit slow. Um, but also, well, I'll hopefully I'll pick up. I'm going to get these all photographed and shit, and hopefully it will pick up um, the weekend. But I, I, I think I'm, I'm definitely going to do the car boot on Sunday. I just, I just enjoy it. I've been, I've been going out um, every morning for like an half an hour walk because I'm annoyed. I can't get out of bed. Unless I'm doing so, I just can't get out of bed. Like if I'm just going to get up and sit down the stairs, I'm annoyed, man. Shell, shelling the kids up before I meet them. I just lie in bed. I'm just like starfishing in bed. So I've started getting up at like six to go for a walk. Um, but uh, so I, I'm, I want to get to the car on Sunday. Even if I have short sales over the weekend, I think I'm still going to go to the car boot because I enjoy going to the car boot on a Sunday. It's nice to get out eh? in the fresh air, in the green. You get me? Anyway, so I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you very much for watching. That was my latest haul. Um, hopefully I'll get to the car boot on Sunday and then I'll see you on Monday. Um, I'm going to try and do a sales video. I'm gonna, I need to. I need to be getting on top of doing um sales videos again because I just sometimes I just can't be bothered. So like doing all the work now and profits and stuff, shutting it down. But anyway, I'm loving you leave you. Peace out. Stay safe, stay beautiful and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.